Hello and welcome guys to a new episode of Manish channel. As you know I've been in an ever ending quest to find the best laptop out there and I think Gigabyte has come to the rescue to answer my prayers and today we're going to open and review this Aura's Gigabyte G13. Aura's G15. There is a seal here that I need to break. Now let's open it and see what we got. beautiful I have to say I've seen many laptops but this looks very special those keys oh, I think they're called Omron keys very nice to click on share this uh, beautiful thing from uh, Gigabyte Auras they they give you this bag and they say if you want to add an additional SSD they give you a thermal pad for it so that's very thoughtful I, I think because it only comes with 512 gigabytes of RAM so they said if you're interested to upgrade there is a space for it for another uh, PCI PCI lane and here is your thermal pad to add it on top well done Here's another look on this laptop and I have to admit it does look good. Here it is Aura's 15G with the Omron keys. Now the back is very nice and it's got a lot of aeration going on. There is literally a mesh to let in the air. It's obviously very good for cooling. This processor, one, uh, 10857 and this is the camera now. I couldn't open it unless I've got a fault unit but it does seem very stuck and if you try to open it it doesn't actually open very smoothly you have to really press hard on it and actually it's positioned in a very bad place facing upwards on your nostril and here is a clip hi guys how are you man you have to click here just just click man here. click here man click just here so yeah this is uh, the camera and it actually it's hindered by the keyboard when you're typing. I'm now connecting the laptop. And uh, as you can see, that keyboard looks really good with those LED backlit lights. Very, very fancy. I've seen many laptops, but this is beyond. It's taking it to the next level. Uh, very easy to look, uh, very easy to see the letters in all conditions, daylight and evening. I've tried the Zephyrus G14 and it was very difficult to see in daylight. So you had to turn the lights off. But this looks good, the LEDs look nice and very bright, very shiny. It's all very nicely made, apart from a few bits and bobs, like the corner over there is a little bit cut in a bad way, but here is the vents. This is actually an intake, this takes in air and lets it in from the sides, here I am doing the setups, drinking my juice. This is not sponsored by any way. I've never met these people in Capri Son. I didn't even, I don't even like juice to be honest. I don't know what I was doing here. So here I am setting up my device, my Aurus. I think the Aurus is meant to be like uh, the call of the wolf. Aurus, I think. Oh yeah, by the way, the caps lock hasn't got an indicator, so you can't really see when it's on, on and off. And the same thing for the num number lock, you can't really tell because there's no LED to tell you that you've locked it or unlocked it. So this is one of the negatives I found. The screen hinge is very playable, you can get a lot of 
uh, vibrations we are typing here is an example of it i'm just moving the desk lightly maybe i've overdone it here a little bit. i'm looking at this laptop from a video content creator point of view not from a gamer even though it does have the rtx 2060 i could be playing some games on it but i'm just here for editing some videos on youtube i'm mainly a youtuber this is my first channel i've got another channel which is my main channel it's called maher channel if anyone wants to check it out so here i am back again guys trying my video pad nch software for video editing and as you can see the the video is running butter smooth here is where we should be looking at and uh, although it has actually crashed at the moment whoa that's not good is it i thought it was going butterly smooth but then just stopped can you see that this shouldn't be happening now I don't know why is it doing that perhaps the the graphics is not as good as it should be I, I, I color graded this footage perhaps this is why but this is all 4k video and as you can see it's saying building preview that shouldn't be happening because that means it's a slow laptop and also the fans are very loud I don't know if you can hear them the fans are very loud but this is 4k images is there any sound here there should be sound i'm not hearing anything that's not good as well anyway the laptop's okay apart from the very loud fan noise that is becoming a bit annoying everything seems to be working okay on this laptop uh, the screen resolution is okay it's not bad i've seen better actually hp spectre for example so I can tell you this laptop is okay, it's a mixed batch, it's a little bit heavy, keyboards is, it needs a bit getting used to, even though it's nice, but it needs a bit getting used to because there's a lot of travel, it's about three and a half millimeters of travel, so you have to really press it, you know, you don't just lightly press it. The other thing is the screen is okay, it's not bad, the fans as I said are a bit loud, and if you want to make them even louder you just press this button here, and check what's going to happen now. Check this out. You can't even talk when it's like that. This is almost like someone's put the hoover on. So at the moment I am playing with the Oculus 2, Oculus Quest. My brother here is connected to my laptop and I've got it on gaming mode. And these are the the numbers, the figures I'm getting. We are going at 72% of the RTX 2060. And here is the game playing in the background. The fresh rate is really good. I really like it. Very nice, clear, crispy screen. And as you can see, the colors are very nicely rendered. I've tried the Steam VR performance test to see if my laptop is capable and actually came out as very capable it's actually saying it's above what is needed at the moment obviously there is a problem here with the wiring i don't know why they put it on the right you cannot put your hand anywhere there's lots of wires coming out of there i would prefer that if it was in the back or on the left another thing this is made in taiwan so you get a lot of these uh, fonts which i don't understand and obviously the english is very bad complete your smart recovery generate success I don't know what that means but you get a lot of that when you are working on the system because i think it was written by someone from taiwan anyway i hope you like this review i tried to make it as quick and as simple as possible the camera obviously on this device is not as good as well because it's placed in a bad place but other than that it's a good laptop it has a retro feel to it i would give it about seven out of ten i think i'm gonna keep it i hope i'll see you in the next episode if you like this episode please like share and subscribe here is my face, you can click on my face to subscribe and also here is another video to choose from, from this list. I'll see you in the next episode.